I'm Paul, welcome to Inside Bikes, and today we're out and about in the countryside with this, the Royal Enfield HNTR 350. So this is a new model for 2023 from Royal Enfield and actually sold really well, one of the top 10 best selling bikes in the UK last year so we thought we'd better get out and about and see what it's all about. It's a really simple motorcycle as we've come to expect from Royal Enfield but even by their standards this is stripped back, basic and actually really good fun. It's one of four models based on what Royal Enfield call their J-Series engine. It's a 350cc single cylinder just over 20 brake horsepower so you're not breaking any land speed records. We've already tested the Meteor 350 and this engine also appears in the new Bullet and the Classic and this is the most contemporary, it's aimed at a younger audience. Um, Royal Enfield's own promo videos, they show lots of young riders hunting around the streets of London on their HNTRs. I'm a middle-aged man I like my vowels, I think that name's a little bit silly, but actually Fair Play Royal Enfield, in every other country it's called The Hunter, but for some copyright reasons they're not allowed to call it The Hunter in the UK, so um, we're stuck with this rather silly HNTR, um, but I'm going to hope that no lawyers are watching and I'm going to call it The Hunter anyway because I think it's a much better name and much more befitting of the bike. Now what Royal Enfield have done ever so well is they made good quality bikes at low prices. This comes in at £3,899. This colour actually are £80 extra, this is called the Rebel Blue colour, but the what they call the dapper colour ranges, well they are a little bit cheaper, but £3,899 is what it starts at. That's less than a lot of 125s, less than a Kawasaki Z125 for example. What you get, you don't get very much, but what you get is pretty good, as I said, that engine, 20 brake horsepower, nice torquey unit, if you're coming from 125 you'll really notice that it's much easier to ride, there's a lot more bottom end power and a lot of torque there compared to 125 and that makes an absolute scooch to ride around town. It's, it's low, it's got a 795 millimeter seat height, quite narrow, I'm a short rider, absolutely dead easy to get around, maybe a little bit too low for some of the taller riders but for me yeah, it's okay. The mirrors, not that keen on the mirrors, they're a little bit small, a little bit short, make them difficult to, to, to see what's going on behind you. But actually what I really like about this bike are the touch points. The grips, nice, they just feel, they feel substantial, as with the levers, the, the foot pegs, they've got rubber mountings, Royal Enfield branding on them, the seat nice and plush. The touch points on these Enfields always feel really good, much better than you would expect from such a effectively a low cost model. Another thing I really like is this funky retro switch gear here, I particularly like the start, start stop button which has got that sort of red kill switch from sort of the 1970s style, I love that, I think that's great. Just behind the clutch lever there's a nice little USB charging so if you do like to mount your phone on the handlebar you've got that there. Dashboard, nice and simple, um, it's a standard analogue speedo but the LCD insert, you've got things like the fuel gauge, you've got a gear indicator um, and actually it's, it's, it's as much as you need and, and pretty much everything you'd expect from this bike. On the open road it's a little bit exposed, look the chassis is okay, you know it's a sub £4,000 motorcycle and actually for what you get I think it's great value for money. Yeah you know what the suspension could be a bit better, the brakes could be a bit better but they're all actually pretty good. It's a little bit exposed by its lack of top speed, 70 mile an hour pretty much has top whack on it but compared to 125 it gets there much more quickly and it's much more able to sustain it. So if you're on an incline it'll hold 70 where a 125 would just creep back down the down the speedo. So again another tick in the box with this. It's one of those great simple Royal Enfield bikes that kind of it is what it is. It's a simple motorcycle, does what it says in the tin, it's well built, it's nice to put together. I really enjoy it and it's easy to see how as a younger rider it would have a lot of appeal to you and actually for riders at the other end of the scale the older riders I get as well because it's so nice and easy going and it's dead simple to ride and clearly there's a market for it because it's one of the top 10 best selling bikes in the UK last year. One of the biggest challenges I think that faces this bike and we've not seen many sort of 250, 350cc bikes in Europe for a long time, one of the biggest challenges I think facing this bike and its ilk in Europe is that it just kind of doesn't quite offer enough over a 125. You know, I mentioned before, it's about the same price as Kawasaki Z125. It's got a little bit more power, 
but it weighs a little bit more. Um, you know, I would probably rather my kid was riding one of these. It's easier. It's designed for the rigors of, 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 of Indian riding, so it's robust. It's got things like the center stand. It's got four gears to keep the, them clean. It's a nice, simple motorcycle, but you do need to have an A2 license to ride it. And that's maybe where it falls down for a lot of riders is that they'll still prefer to get on a 125, do their day CBT training, rather than go through the, the extra money and time that it takes to get an A2 license. And that's a shame, but it's totally understandable as well. And overall, it's another big win for Royal Enfield. Look, I'm sure globally this bike is gonna sell in huge numbers. Here, it's maybe a little bit more of a niche product. But overall, if you're in the market for something simple, you're not too bored about performance, it's definitely worth a look. Look, read what we've got to say on the website. We'll put a link in below. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.